What is going on, guys? I got bored the other day, and I had an AI make me a script about Ashes of Creation. So let's see what these fancy dancy AI people, who aren't people, they're computers, actually think about Ashes of Creation. And bear with me, the information they have is probably not all correct, but it's kind of funny. So let's get into it. Are you ready for the next big thing in MMOs? Look no further than Ashes of Creation, the game that's bringing something fresh and innovative to the table. One of the standout features of Ashes of Creation is the node system. Nodes are essentially areas of the game world that are controlled by players. They start out as small villages and can eventually grow into large cities. Players can interact with the nodes by completing quests, constructing buildings, and participating in node wars. But the node system goes goes far beyond just player control. It also impacts the economy and resources of the game world. For example, nodes that are focused on crafting will produce different resources and goods than the nodes that are focused on agriculture. This creates a diverse and realistic economy that is constantly evolving. Something like that AI, something like that. Players can choose to specialize their node in certain industries, such as weapon manufacturing or farming. This allows players to create a unique and special node that stands out in the game world. But the node system doesn't just affect the economy and resources of the game world, it also impacts the environment itself. As nodes grow and develop, the surrounding landscape will change to reflect this growth. This creates a dynamic and immersive world that feels truly alive and responsive to player action. But the node system is just one aspect of what makes Ashes of Creation so special. The game also has a strong emphasis on player choice. Players will have the ability to make meaningful choices that affect the world around them through branching storylines and player-driven content. For example, a player might be faced with a moral dilemma during a quest. Do they choose to do the right thing and help someone in need, or do they choose to pursue their own selfish goals? These choices will have real consequences and affect the world around the player. And the player's choice doesn't stop there. Ashes of Creation has a classless character system, mm, interesting, which means players aren't locked into specific class or role. Instead, they choose from a variety of skills and abilities to create their own unique character. This allows for a wide range of playstyles and encourages players to try out different combinations and strategies. See, I think you are being confused with New World now. But let's not forget about the player versus player combat in Ashes of Creation. This game has it all, open world PvP, node wars, guild wars, and even arena battles. Players can test their skills against one another in a variety of settings, from large-scale battles for control to more structured competitive arenas. In node wars, guilds can declare war on one another and fight over control of a node. These epic battles can involve hundreds of players and they are a true test of strategy and teamwork. And in the arena, players can engage in a more structured competitive combat where you prefer 1v1 duels or large-scale team battles. The arena has something for everyone. So why should you be excited for Ashes of Creation? It's a game that offers dynamic and immersive world player choice and customization, and intense player versus player combat. It's a game that truly puts the power in the hands of the player and allows them to shape the world and their own experience. If you're looking for something fresh and innovative in the MMO genre, don't miss out on Ashes of Creation. Keep an eye on this game and get ready to join the revolution. That is something. Actually, it's not that far inaccurate. I feel like the biggest flaw here is the classless thing, which is not a thing. There's 64 class combinations that you can have. But you know, for an AI who probably doesn't know much about Ashes of Creation, it seems to have a pretty good grip on what Ashes of Creation is. So you know, it's not bad. Maybe, maybe I'll let this AI just take control of my channel at this point. But I hope you guys have a great new year. It's been a great year in Ashes of Creation content. It's been a great year for this channel. And I really can't wait to see what next year brings. So again, happy new year to all of you. And thank you for your support. And thank you for sticking around this channel. Even though sometimes I do ridiculous stuff like this.